In this tutorial, I'm going to share with you how to make a gray kind of background, a sort of gradient that you might have seen many times as a background of infographics like this one, which we have created on our YouTube channel. In order to do that type of background, I will go back to After Effects and I will just go to Layer, New and Solid. And when I create a solid, no matter what color I select, I could select even red, it doesn't matter, because I will not use the actual color of the solid, but it will go to my effects on the right hand side here, and I will look for an effect called ramp. I would use ramp on this solid, and as soon as I apply the ramp, it comes with a gradient that goes from black to white. If you look carefully at the top and at the bottom of the screen, you will see sliders. You can just grab those sliders and move them around to animate your gradient. The only thing is that this one is a linear gradient and for that type of background I need a different type of gradient which is a radial gradient. So from here I will change linear into radial and there you go. But you also see that it is the other way around. In the infographics that I shared, the, the central part is lighter whereas the surrounding part is darker. So I have to switch actually the color for the sliders and I will do this one from uh, the control panel where I have start color and end color. So for start color is the one that defines the color in the middle. Normally I tend to use a very bright one. If you read the RGB coordinates it could be anything between 220 and 240 for all of them. And also I will change the end color. I normally pick a little bit uh, darker. It could be anything between 150 and 190 more or less. So you can fashion it as you prefer, a little bit darker or a little bit brighter. This is exactly what you have seen in the, the infographics that I was playing at the beginning of the video tutorial. And I have achieved it using ramp and swapping the switches and dragging around the sliders so that I can make the gradient sharper or broader. 